Last time on As the Hamster Wheel Turns. I'm going downtown. Seems Chavez's assistant was spotted near the bunkers. I need to make sure she knows who runs this town. Get out of my town. If it really was your town, how could the Chavez family own half of the bunker directly under your feet? What are you talking about? Ask your sister-in-law, Nancy. Look at this place. Can you believe someone lives here? I don't know. I am fond of the metal decor. Decor? What did I tell you about reading my lady's home journal before I finished doing the word search? Actually, sir, it was your homes and gardens. Even worse. Look at all that mess over there. With all this robot filth around, I'm at risk to catch some sort of avian tetanus syphilis. Sir, I don't think that's possible. Don't talk to me with all your immunities and whatnot. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Shh, there was again. Maybe it's those dreaded Hardy Boys. Not the Hardy Boys. Oh! Uh... Ah! Oh! Ah! What's the matter? Oh no, did I miss my 2.30 brick throwing appointment? As usual, Charles, I don't have time for your crap. It has come to my attention that you've allowed Chavez to operate out of your, ahem, <clears throat> home here? Let's say it was the result of a mixture of long weekends in Tijuana and an elementary school book fair. How was I supposed to know kids have smaller body cavities than normal people and almost no understanding of free trade agreements? Honey, you don't need to explain anything to this man. Well, somebody, I don't care who, better tell me why there's a drug farm upstairs. If someone had decided to give us the money we were owed from the father's will, we wouldn't have to run out the upstairs. I can't believe that you would have the audacity to rent to that Chavez scum. Do you have any idea what drugs are doing to my town? Let me tell you the story about a young man who started taking money out of his mama's purse to get an extra candy bar. Eighteen years later, he's turning tricks in order to lick the backs of rats that live in old meth barrels. And do you know who that young man was? Who? You. No, it wasn't. It wasn't? Who am I thinking of? Frank Zabato. I think I played cards with him once. No, you didn't. Don't tell me who I don't play cards with. I made him up. So you're a traitor and a liar. Enough. The point is, this is my town, and I want them out of here now. Well, this is my home, and I can rent to anyone I want. Arr! Now, if you don't mind, I need to go gather up my bricks for our meeting later. Arr! You know, Nancy, that was the first time I've ever been able to get underneath that man's skin. And to think, all it took was your little mix-up. And drugs. Lots of drugs. Yes, dear. And drugs. Lots of drugs. <laughs>